Well, good morning, guys. It is March the 8th. Uh, I just got up. I feel like I, well, I thought I slept in, but I didn't. It's because uh, last night is when the time, yeah, went ahead an hour. So I'm looking at the clock and it says that it's 8.45, but it's really 7.45. Well, it feels like 7.45. Whatever, whatever. I mean, I hate when that springs ahead and then falls back. Can't they just leave it alone? Uh, first thing I do every morning is check the weather. So right now, 20 degrees outside, 54 in here. Not bad, but time to put a fire on. This time of year, I uh, I usually sit by the wood stove in the mornings, have my first cup of coffee, and uh, just think about my day, try to plan my day out. So, for today, um, I was going to tap some maple trees, but I've changed my mind. I've checked the weather, and uh, actually for the next few days, it's supposed to be uh, below freezing temperatures and uh, it's going to be kind of wet and snowy or whatever so not really good for sap to run so uh, I might wait till wait later on in the week it's supposed to warm up I think around Wednesday and Thursday or something like that uh, supposed to get up into the uh, high 30s maybe even hit 40 who knows and that's what you want for a, a good uh, uh, for your maple trees for the sap to run you want cold nights and warm days <clears throat> so maybe later on in the week I'll do that so what to do today hmm
Okay, I have a plan. <laughs> and yes, that plan involves bacon. So my plan is first eat breakfast, and then after that, I have some uh, some chores that I want to do. So what I think I'll do today, I'm not going to do a whole lot. Uh, you know, it's that time of year. There's not a lot to do this time of year. So life is uh, a pretty slow pace here at the cabin, slower than normal. But still, I have a few things that I do want to do. Uh, one of those things, um, I'm going to check the uh, uh, my solar batteries, make sure that the, uh, the the levels are okay. Add some distilled water if I need to. Uh, I got to split some kindling wood and um, then I've got to do a little preventative road maintenance uh, every year when it's spring ahead uh, it's, it's that time because I know the the warm weather and the melts gonna come soon so I got to do a little preventative road maintenance and uh, put some brakes uh, in the road that flow into the ditch I'll explain more about that later once we get out there uh, but that'll kill a few hours today. Hmm. All my battery levels are good. Okay, we're at the top of the hill where uh, where we come in here and uh, so let me explain this real quick here so obviously I'm on an elevation of course and, and everything is downhill this way the land is also grades off this way from right to left so over here on the left we have a ditch and on the side of the road we have a packed frozen snowbank 
So what happens is once this starts, all the snow and ice starts to melt and the rains come down, of course, water takes path of least resistance. So it goes straight down the road and uh, it washes the road out. So what I do about every 50 yards, I will put a break in this in this snowbank, in this frozen snowbank, and break it open into the ditch. So what will hopefully happen is when the rains come and this all melts, the water will flow down and flow off through these openings and into the ditch. Uh, it's not perfect, but it does help, and I think anything that helps is good because it's a lot of maintenance to keep this road uh, in good shape takes a lot of time and a lot of effort so anything I can do that will help I'll do it Another job done and man what a beautiful day this is wow uh, anyways um, yeah so I was reading some of my uh, comments on my last video uh, where I made the chili and I also mentioned about the coronavirus and I was wondering what you guys thought of it and so on and uh, and uh, one uh, one viewer commented that uh, I must have some of the most intelligent subscribers on YouTube <laughs> And I agree 100%. You guys are bang on. Uh, almost every comment when it came to the uh, coronavirus was, was uh, you know, the same. And it's basically don't panic, use common sense, and don't listen to the media. Um, yeah, I think those are, that's all, that's all bang on. Um, so, yeah, you guys definitely are, I think, uh, above the rest. Anyway, uh, you know, you watch some of yeah. Anyway, you know, you watch some of the crazy stuff, the, the stories and people fighting over a roll of toilet paper and, uh, you know, there's no hand sanitizer on the shelves or alcohol or wipes or anything else. Everybody's panic buying. And, uh, well, I can tell you this, that uh, if you're prepared ahead of time, you don't have to worry about that stuff. I got all kinds of that stuff on hand. As a matter of fact, I've got, I could stay here for a long time without leaving um, if I had to. And uh, that's all part of being prepared for things like this. And uh, when, when things like this happen and, uh, and people start to panic and empty the shelves, I already have all that stuff and I don't worry about it. Anyway, that's that.
I was going to reread this old book, do a little reading this afternoon. Haven't read this for a while. Great book. Um, of course, it had some old pictures in it. So uh, I love finding old pictures. Let's see what we got here. They would definitely be pictures of my little girl. When she was really little. <laughs> uh, oh, what a cutie. She's not so little anymore. She's 10 now. Uh, yes, she's 10 now. And uh, right now she's on a little extra break. Um, she went down to Florida with her mom to visit her other Grammy who lives in Florida. And uh, so she's missing a bit of school. And I'm sure she's really sad about that. Uh, anyway, when uh, when she comes back, um, I'm going to spend some time with her. So I'm not sure if I will have a video next week or not. But hey, uh, now, if you haven't already, now would be a good time to click that little bell icon. So you will be notified when I do get out a new video. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it for this one. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you're new, subscribe. Smash that thumbs up button if you don't mind. I do appreciate the support. And we will see you guys real soon back here at the cabin.